In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate standard normal probabilities in Excel. And you may have seen like these uh, Z tables or normal distribution tables. Um, this guy, he's got a website all on the Z table, ztable.com. Um, so you might have seen these type of tables. And he's got even a video, I think, down towards the end about how to use these tables. Point is, you could learn how to use these tables and then go out into the workforce and then never really have access to that table um, you know without going on the internet so might as well just learn how to do it in Excel right so can I calculate those values that we saw there in that table quicker in Excel absolutely all right so let's talk about how to do that so assume Z is a standard normal random variable first how do we find the probability that Z is less than 1.5 Okay, so basically they're asking us if we were to draw out this distribution in the center of a standard normal um, distribution, you always have zero. Okay, so standard normal, remember standard normal means that mu equals zero and sigma equals one. So Z is distributed normal zero one. Okay, all right, so 1.5 probability that Z is less than 1.5. 1.5 would be over to the right of zero. All right, and less than 1.5 would basically be this area to the left of 1.5. All right, so how do I calculate that in Excel? Let me go to Excel, type equals norm dot S. S stands for standard distribution dot dist. Okay, so the z value is 1.5 and you pretty much always will write true for cumulative. Press enter, 0.9332. Notice that this actually, it also gives you more decimal places. The z table tends to only give you four decimal places. So if we were to look up 1.5, 1.53, there, there's that value right there. 0.9332, same thing that the um, Excel gave us, except it gave us more decimal places. So 0.9332. All right, so that's the answer, 0.9332. Basically, this is a very, it's almost all the, um, almost the entire Z distribution is less than 1.5. Okay, so now moving on, find the probability that Z is greater than negative 0.8. So you, in the center, you always have zero. Negative is to the left of zero. So you have negative 0.8. And we wanna find the probability that Z is greater than negative 0.8. So the area to the right of 0.8. Well, your calculator is always going to find a cumulative probability and cumulative probabilities are areas to the left okay the total area under the curve is one so i'm going to need to do one minus that area to the left which is the probability that z is less than negative 0.8 okay and then i can use excel to calculate this difference all right so i'll type in equals one minus norm.s.dist, open parentheses, negative 0.8. That was my z value, cumulative, you always write true. Close parentheses, press enter, 0 0.7881. So this equals 0 0.7881. All right. Last question, the probability that Z is between negative 0.8 and positive 1.5, okay? So zero is the center of your distribution. So we're between negative 0.8, which is to the left of zero, and positive 1.5, which is to the right of zero. So basically I wanna find this area here I've marked in yellow. 
All right, but once again, when I use my calculator, it's going to find a cumulative distribution, which is all of the area behind whatever number I give it. So if I start with finding the probability that z is less than 1.5, that's this entire area back here. Okay, that's too much. How much is it too much by? Well, basically, I need to subtract off the probability that z is less than 0.8. Okay, I need to subtract off this tail. If I subtract off this blue tail, then I'll be left with the yellow between area. Okay, and that's what I want. So let's go to Excel to figure out what this difference is. Okay, I'm going to type equals norm.s.dist. And I'm going to start with the 1.5. Okay, and I'm going to type true. Close parentheses. Don't forget to close those parentheses. Then type minus norm.s.dist, open parentheses, and now I have that negative 0.8, true. Okay, so the probability that z is less than 1.5 minus the probability that z is less than negative 0.8. Press enter, and you get 0.7213. Point seven two one three. All right, and there you go. That's my answer.